Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me again today. Today, we are going to be checking out Tombstone from 1993. This was a winner of my Guess the Views game over on Patreon, and I was really happy to see it win because I really don't know much about Westerns at all. I think maybe the only Western I've seen is Back to the Future 3, and that's not even really like a full-blown Western. I'm really excited to see what a real Western is all about. Before we get started, I'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. So so many of you guys have asked me for advice on starting a YouTube channel. Skillshare was a huge help to me when I was first getting started and answered so many of my questions. They have all kinds of classes on things like growing your YouTube channel, planning and shooting videos, which cameras and microphones to use, and help in the editing process, which I found especially helpful. The editing process can be really daunting when you're first getting started, and Skillshare was a huge help for me in learning about the editing software I was using. The detailed tutorials are really easy to follow, they offer tons of great tips, and they have many resources that you can use to supplement your learning. So if you're looking to start a YouTube channel and you have a lot of questions that you want to get answered, definitely head over to Skillshare, check out their classes. Make sure you use the link in my description below and the first 1,000 people to use the link will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and thank you to you guys for checking out Skillshare. And now, let's watch a movie. Let's get into it. Here we go, Tombstone. I'm very excited. I don't know Westerns the way that I probably should. 1879, economic explosion spurs the migration west. Killers and thieves seek their fortunes. Murder rates higher than those of modern day New York. Yeah, like lots of murder, right? Everyone just kills each other all the time, I think. Legendary lawman Wyatt Earp. Wyatt Earp, I've heard of him. Earp's friend, John, Doc Holliday, also traveled, hoping the dry climate will relieve his tuberculosis. Tombstone oh, becomes queen of the boomtowns. Attracted to this atmosphere, the ruthless gang recognized by the Red Sashes, the earliest example of organized crime in America. The right. Cowboys. Yeah, I feel like it's very much shoot em up. You got a problem? Shoot em. I feel like the average age of living was very... Like quite low, you know. Oh boy. And yeah, gambling cards. Okay, okay. Was it like lawless as well? Like, could was there jail? Were there cops? We'll see. I just have so many questions. <laughs> Everyone's got a cool mustache, though. Y'all killed two cowboys. Uh -oh. Gunfight. Yikes. Oh. Is that like the priest Basket guy? Police, huh? Tell him get on his knee. Are they gonna shoot him? Gracias. Uh. Call me Curly Bill Brosis. I'm what you might call the uh, founder of the feast. They're gonna shoot him. Someone will come to revenge for him. Sick horse who comes to sit with him. He talk crazy. It's not what he said, you ignorant wretch. Did you go to hell? You first. Just shoot him. <laughs> they shoot them both. Yeah, let's eat, boy. Well, is good. Now they're gonna eat their feast. Oh, these guys are bad. Oh man. They don't care. What that mess can mean? Sick horse is gonna get us, huh? It's quoting the Bible. Revelations, pale horse. The man who sat on him was death. And hell followed with him. I wonder if someone on a white horse is gonna come in, change things up. It's Kurt! That's a mustache. Ah. I like Kurt already. Kurt's done it. I let go of that stud. I can't believe they just slapped that horse. Mr. Herb. My name's Dake, U.S. Marshal for this territory. Forget it. I'm retired. He's I don't retired. want a job, and that's fine. I'm going to Tombstone. Ever saw a rich man who didn't wind up with a guilty conscience? I already got a guilty conscience. Might as well have the money, too. I like him already. Boy, I'd know that sour face anywhere. Is that um, Bill Paxton? My God. He's in everything. Do you remember Allie? Oh, very nice don't dresses. And Louisa. Why? Oh. Folks, this is Celia Ann, but... You can call her Maddie. I uh, couldn't find a single store that had laudanum. I sure been dreaming about this. Oh, what a lovely tableau. Don't talk. Just... But something's gonna go real wrong here. We're having like our happy ending at the beginning. Did you say you need some laudanum? I have some right here. 
Oh, you're a lifesaver. Just be careful now. I just get That's headaches sometimes. sometimes. I miss Doc. I miss that old rip. And that guy on the right is the guy, the older brother in A Star Is Born, which I watched on Patreon. Must be a peach of a hand. You're not wearing a bustle. You're not wearing a bustle. Come on. Come on, show. Guess I'll just have to call. Isn't that a daisy? I feel like there was nothing to do back then except drink and gamble. Son of a bitch. Why, Aunt Bailey? We cross. Without them guns, you ain't nothing but a skinny lunger. What an ugly thing to say. Does this mean we're not friends anymore? Draw your pistols. I just don't think I could bear it. Would shoot you. Yep, drawn pistols. Okay, every, every problem, just draw your pistols. Are they called pistols? I'm gonna probably call them pistols for this whole thing, so I'm sorry if that's not what they're called. <laughs> oh, did he kill him? <gasps> he knifed him! Touch that gun, I'll burn you down. Ooh. Oh, man. I calculate that's the end of this town. The horse is outside. That's why you're not wearing a bustle. What is a bustle? Is it the thing on the back of the dress? It's exactly what I picture when I think of a western, this kind of town, yes. Pretty big, isn't it? Bustling. Oh, brother. Yeah, this would have been like a big deal to go to this big metropolis. Name's John Behan, Cochise County Sheriff. I'm Wyatt Earp, and these are my brothers, Wyatt Earp. Virgil and Morgan. Oh, we heard about City. Going into business. Don't even carry a gun. Anymore. Well, then, I'm the man to see. I'm also tax collector, fire brigade, and nonpartisan anti-Chinese. Oh, wow, he's busy. I also sit on the town lot commission. We've got three lovely cottages coming up for rent. I'll have my man show them to you. I want you to meet Fred White. He's a town marshal. I already met the county sheriff. Only real law around here is the cowboys. Yeah, that's what I think too. There's no real law. You always spot a cowboy. They always wear those red sashes. About all these saloons. That's a real mother load here. All except the Oriental. Even the high rollers won't go near it. That's too bad too. It's a nice place. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Bill Kind of dead in here, isn't it? You don't listen too good, do you? He comes barging in here one day. Tony Trey comes in, and I was just the bummers and the drovers. Get yourself a straight dealer. That's easy for you to say. And God damn it, Junior! Oh, he's just a loose cannon. My brother's kids or something. Calm something down. Something your mind? Just want to let you know you're sitting in my chair. For a man that oh. don't go healed, you run your mouth. No need to go healed to get the bulge on a tub like you. I love all this slang. I'm. I don't know exactly what it means, but I get the gist. I'm real scared. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm sure scared. Go ahead, skin it. See what happens. Listen, mister. I'm tired of your son. <gasps> tired of your guests. Slap him in the face. Gonna do something or just stand there and bleed? I didn't That's think badass. so. Don't come back. Oh, what do you say? 25% of the house takes sound about right? He's good, so he's in town. He has a place to live. He's already set up a business. Don't even try it, buddy. Why, Johnny Tyler, the mad cat. Doc, Ooh. I didn't know you was back in town. Well, well. You know each other? Well, I just got a sparrow game. Since when is sparrow a business? I apologize, I forgot you were there. You <laughs> may go now. You may go. Just leave that shotgun. I love these guys. They're just like, they are running the show now. They just walked in, taking charge. So, how's our little town? This is just another mining camp. We are growing to be as big as San Francisco, just as sophisticated. <laughs> People don't stop, like, just killing each other. It's very cosmopolitan. Yeah, right? What the hell's that all about, Creek? Cross this to bet and call me a liar. I'll have to have those guns. It was a fair fight. We was legal. I'm sorry, boys. Fair fight was legal. That's us. All right, there was kind of a law and order, but if you just shot someone in the street and then didn't get arrested, that that's crazy. An enchanted moment. I wonder who that tall drink of water is. I want one. Happy hunting. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna fall in love for sure. We haven't been to a show since years. What kind of show is it? I wonder. Oh, they're performers. I see. Jeez. We are marked to die. We are now to do our country loss. But if to live? He's got some nerve, I'll say that. What do you he think, uh, Billy? I think he's wonderful. I think he's wonderful. Cheap upon St. Crispin's Day. <laughs> so we're gonna see the girl maybe? That's Faust. He, he's gonna make a deal with the devil. Oh, that's cool how they're making the lights. I'd take a deal and then drill that old devil in the ass. <laughs> how about you, man? You tell what you did. I already did it. Who is this guy? He's interesting. He's smarter than all the other guys he's with. Mm. But who is the devil? It's the lady. A lady wearing pants? I never. 
damned. You may indeed, if you get lucky. Would you look at all those stars? God made all of that. He still remembered to make a little speck like me. Well, I read this book. A lot of people, when they die, they see this light. It's the light leading you to heaven. Mm. What about hell? They got a sign there? God damn it. <laughs> I gotta go to work. Please stay with me. He's gonna go find that girl. I gotta get to work. All right. She knows. Is that the bottle Lou gave you? Maybe you should see a doctor. No, mm -hmm. I don't need to see a doctor. All right. I think maybe she does. You look beautiful tonight. Not as beautiful Thank as that you. stage, Not honey, Maddie. though. Do you actually consider yourself a married man? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty Sooner much. Later, you gotta grow up. And what would you do if she walked in here? She. Stage you know, lady. Well. The lady Satan, that's it. <laughs> the lady Satan. I'd ignore her. People can change, Doc. Mm-hmm. I don't buy it either. Oh, hell. Yeah. <laughs> she likes one mustache in particular. Satisfied? You're an oak. Yeah, we know he's gonna end up with the lady Satan. Mr. Earth, would you mind signing an autograph for me, sir? Wide Earth, huh? Heard of you. Oh boy. Law don't go around here. I'm retired. Good. Law just don't go around here. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Yeah, Shoot right. Up, we uh, heard you. You must be Doc Holliday. <laughs> he does not look good. You must be Ringo. Dead is Pistol since Wild Bill, they say. What do you think, darling? Should I hate him? You don't even know him. Is he getting his him. pistol out underneath? Reminds me of me. No, I hate him. The I hate him. I Jake would I just. Are they just speaking that? We don't want any trouble in here, not in any language. Mr. Ringo's an educated man. How oh, I really hate him. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is pretty impressive. <laughs> I feel like I would always be stroking my mustache if I had one. What's he gonna do? <laughs> the man, Dilling Farrow. Who is he? Wider. Peace officer. Peace officer. Peace officer. Uh, I believe he's married. <laughs> He's married, darling, but I think you're still gonna end up with him because he's sweet on ya. I don't know what this accent is. No, hell. Is it her again? Hello. Yeah. We've never actually met. My name's Lighter. I'm Josephine just... Marcus. Everybody knows. <laughs> this is fortuitous. That fortuitous. I know what it means. <laughs> that mare is in season. <laughs> How do they know? It's the scent. Let's run it out of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm an oak, all right. I like this flirting through horse mating talk. End of the road. Maybe for you. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> so she's quite like, for a woman, she's doing a lot of stuff that probably men would be doing. She's wearing pants, she's riding a horse real fast. Oh, oh he's laughing. Yeah, I, I laugh sometimes. Are you happy? I don't laugh all day long like an idiot. I'm touchy about it, aren't you? Are you mm -hmm. happy? No, I'm always happy. That blonde woman, is that your wife? Yes. What about her? What do you want out of life? <laughs> well, Jeez, I don't lady. Oh, make some money. Have some children. I... Doesn't suit you. I'm telling you what suits me is a family and kids. In fact, that's I don't why know. I have heaven. What's your idea, heaven? Room service. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's laughing again. I want to move and never look back. Just have fun. Forever. Need someone to share it with, though. Why are you with him? Because he's handsome. He's all right. Oh, yeah, he's all right. I've tried to be good. It's just so boring. What do you talk? Never heard a woman talk like that? Never. Yeah, she's a strange woman in those times. I don't have time to be proper. I want to live. I'm a woman. I like men. That means I'm not ladylike. I'm just not a lady. You're different. Mm -hmm. But you're a lady, all right. Well, they're going to get together in the end, probably. I don't know, though. I don't know if Westerns have happy endings or, or not. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with her? She might die too. Is that the opium Lou gave you? Opium. Well, okay. Better go easy on that stuff. Leave me alone. How are you feeling, Maddie? <laughs> oh yeah, she's on something. Well, opium, but I don't, I don't really know what that would do to you. I'm fine. <laughs> no, girl, you're not fine. I'm sure. She looks bad. I was thinking today. What if we pulled out stakes and just moved on? Keep going. See the world. Just live on room service. She's trying to see if she's like the other girl. What are you talking about? 
<laughs> just thinking out loud, you know. Like, nothing. She's not well. Oh yeah. Uh oh, something's about to go down. This music is getting eerie. Oh, I feel great. Mm. Yes. He is drunk or on something. He's acting like he's high. Jeez. Somebody's gotta do something. Well, I believe you're the sheriff. This we is exactly. Marshal. Why don't you just leave it alone? I gotta do something. Uh oh. He's gonna walk out there and get shot. Is what's gonna happen. Come on now. Hand those over, Curly. Hand them over. It's not gonna. Why, well, sure, Dad. I'm only fun. I don't think Here so. you go. No, wait, no, he's not gonna. <gasps> oh god. <gasps> oh god. That really freaked me out. I don't know why. I knew it was gonna happen. All right, back off. Nobody's hanging anybody. Yeah. Stay on trial for it. Now get back. Turn him loose. No, can't do that. You don't step aside. We'll tear you apart. Not before I make your head into a canoe. He's bluffing. Let's rush him. No. Now tell him to get back. Go on now, get back. He'll kill me. Yeah, I think he will. Music lover, you're next. You're so drunk, you can't hit nothing. You're probably seeing double. <gasps> Two guns, one for each of you. Go home now. I'll see you soon. Yeah, he'll, he'll be back. This will happen again. Never a double moment. Just like at any moment, someone could draw their pistol and shoot you in the face. Doesn't matter. By the time I got there, Marshal White had already been shot. You can't have a murder without a witness. What? Case dismissed. Hell what? Cares. None of my business anyway. Working out just like you said, White. We're looting this burg six ways from Sunday. I gotta admit. Excuse me, White, do you have a moment? You just hear now, me Now, hold out. on, Mayor. I already told you no. Mayor. In the meantime, okay. a lot of decent people are suffering. Don't let me take up any more of your precious time. Rack them. I'm suffering from a hangover. Virgil's got a lot on his mind. What's he so pensive about? What does that say? So they ca they can't carry weapons anymore? That's not what that says, is it? People are gonna flip. Nobody's even saying you can't carry a gun. You can't carry a gun in town. That's, That's gonna be so hard to enforce, for sure. I can talk to you about this. No, you can read, can't you? These people are afraid to walk down the street, and I'm trying to make money off that like some vulture. Don't do this to me. Got nothing to do with you. I'm your brother. Like you said, White, we're brothers. Gotta back your brother's play. The first time in our lives we got a chance to finally be a family. We know what we're doing, White. It's something else. What? Those cow towns, I was only ever mixed up in one shooting. But a man lost his life, and I took it. You don't know how that feels. So he only ever killed one person? That is surprising. Why? Just in time. Been hitting awful hard, haven't you? I've not yet begun to defile myself. Oh boy. Have another one, my loving man. So that guy's gonna die, I think, Doc, from, like loving from the drink. Oops. Is he still winning, even though he's so drunk? Who's that now? The 12 hands in a row. Nobody's that lucky. Uh oh. Hope it's just not your game, Mike. Let's have a spelling contest. Are you taking his part? I'm the one who got cheated. I don't really know. Poker. Can you cheat in poker? Get your goddamn hands off me! Don't you ever try to manhandle a cow? She threatened me, you little son of a bitch. All right, all right, all right. Go on home and forget about it, all right? I ain't gonna forget nothing. It's getting more tense. Like, obviously, some of these guys are gonna die, I think. It's just too volatile a situation. <laughs> Oh my god, he's coughing up blood. Dude. Oh, he's gonna die for sure. Is there a doctor in town? I know they call him Doc, but I don't think he's a doctor. You tell him that. Oh, I thought he was gonna shoot him in the face. Put him in the jail. You're gonna give Ike back his gun. Up till he sobers up. Is he the sheriff now? That's the way you walk, the stupid. I'm sorry. Shove it up your ass. Everyone's so upset all the time. right now. Yeah, everyone's got guns. Y'all want to fight. We get it. You got a fight coming. Coming today. Oh boy. Yeah, oh boy. It's just gonna go down. Not all of these guys are gonna make you it. You lost some um, 60% of your lung tissue, maybe more. Two Whoa. years. Two days. If you stop now. You oh, you won't stop. Rest. Deny your uh, marital impulse. Is this girl gonna stay with him or leave? How are you feeling, Doc? 
nothing better. I knew it wasn't nothing. It appears we must redefine the nature of our association. Like what? Like you can't sleep with her anymore? I'm a good woman to you. Nobody cares for you like me. True, you are a good woman. She is the one kind of still feeding him drinks, feeding him smokes. Does she just want his money? I don't know what this Maybe lady's up to. Maybe the Antichrist. Yeah, she's killing him slowly here. Uh oh. God damn. Uh, there's six of them. Stay calm and use your head. It'll be all right. I guess maybe you better swear me in. What's going on? Tell her what's happening so I can know. Clanton's and McLowry's are gunning for us. Well, you go down there to arrest them. Maybe this time somebody really gets his head broke. They're breaking the law. Virgil's a law man. All right, Virg. We'll go arrest him? Give Doc the shotgun. He'll be less apt to get nervy if he's on the street outside. Oh boy, a showdown. I like our little crew here. I don't want them to die. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Kid. Goddamn kid. <laughs> yeah, How did we get ourselves into this? Well, you guys did roll into town and try and take over everything. We're here to disarm me and throw up Not gonna hands. happen, Burge. Oh, not what I want. Just ran off? Uh. Fellas, you don't have to do this. They're all scared. Don't do it. Oh my god, just for him. Yeah, they're all gonna shoot each other. Uh, he's a pretty good shot. Oh, 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 Verge. Oh, okay, he's down too. They're all getting shot. Uh oh, he's out. I got you now. Or Daisy, if you do. Oh man. All quiet now. Be cool, Morgan. Are they gonna get in trouble for this, or is this like it was a legitimate fight, so it's not illegal? All of you are under arrest. Oh, okay. I don't think I'll let you arrest us today. Nobody arrests Wyatt or. Yeesh, awkward. Oh, they're so fancy with the gloves. The fireworks, everything, wow. Wow. Is this gonna change anything though? Or is it just gonna be back to business as usual, shooting up whoever the next gang comes into town? You're right. It's nothing like I thought. I almost wish it. I know, Morgan. Regrets it. I know, me too. Feeling that guilt. You killed somebody. Sister boy should have stuck around. What do you want, Ringo? Your blood. I want your soul. You want any Ooh. more trouble? Well, you got trouble! It starts with you. I'm not gonna fight you, Ringo. Don't any of you have the guts to play for blood? I'm your huckleberry. That's just my game. He's not afraid of anything. He's dying anyway, right? All right, Lunger. I'll put you out of your misery. Say wham. Johnny, don't! No, Johnny, don't. Get off! He just drunk, that's all. No! Come no, Johnny's not done. Now ain't the time. There will be a time. We're building to an epic showdown here. I see what's going on between you and Wyatt. Lots mm -hmm. of so-called hard cases come and go. None of them has a clue about the real play. What's the There'll real be one thing? man in charge of Tombstone. You'll be happy to know him. One of the guys with the red sashes? Big one of those nights. Yeah, this is gonna be a bad night. I think they're all gonna get murdered. Get late, boy. I'm a little bit. Bundle up. I think Burge is gonna die. Look at that dog at the table. Oh no. Oh no. Are you expecting someone? Only Verge. Oh no. Please. <gasps> I know it's awful to come here. I think oh. something's gonna happen tonight. Me too. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna murder them all. What'd you forget? Is he shot? What? <gasps> oh no. We didn't even see it happen. Come on, Lou. Hit Clubs house too. Shot up his wife. They're bugs, wife. There ain't no oh, living boy. that live with bugs. We gotta get out of here. What kind of talk is that? Do you see what's happening? Yeah, they have to flee. Your husband's going to lose the use of his arm. <laughs> oh God. That's still going good on the old you with. Oh, he's just gonna get himself killed now. So damn smart. I told you, Verge. Not now. Leave me alone for God's sake. Everyone's mad at you, Wyatt. This is not gonna be good. 
I'm here to let you know that it wasn't me. Brothers to the bone, right, McMasters? Not after this night. Really? You want us for anything? We're with you. I don't know. I don't know if I trust them. Who is that? Oh, man. Oh, no. The bullet's too deep. I can't get it out. Oh, no. He's gonna die. You are right, Wyatt. They got me good. Yeah. Remember what I said about seeing a light when you're dying? It ain't true. I can't see a damn thing. <gasps> Mark? Oh, man. Mark? <laughs> oh, man. Well, he's gotta go avenge him now. What the hell? Can't you see? Get away from me! <sighs> What's he gonna do now? Oh, he's pleased as punch. They're leaving. Hmm. And so she walked out of our lives forever. I want you to know it's over. Bye. You smell that, Bill? It smells like someone died. Brutal. Jesus, <laughs> It's not the end. Dick still will finish it. Like, go kill them? Can't you just let them go? Hmm. <laughs> Behind you. He was ready. He put Virgil on the train and then he was ready. <sighs> Whoa. You called down the thunder. Well, now you got it. The cowboys are finished. You understand? I see a red sash. I kill my man wearing it. Tell all the other curs the line coming. I'm coming. And Boy's hell's pissed. coming with me. Hell's coming Ooh. with me. White Earp is pissed. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is not gonna be pretty. Nobody moves. Nonsense. By all means, move. What's happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Holy. Yikes. Oh man. Just shoot and don't even look. How the hell are you? <laughs> Crazy bastards. Think of something fast, would you? Yeah, what are you gonna do? No. What's he no. doing? What? what are you doing? Look at that. Um... No. No. Oh, okay, got him. Christ. He's a good shot. Wow. Well, he basically killed all of them all by himself. If they were my brothers, I'd want revenge to. It's not revenge he's after. What is it? Reckoning. Oh. <laughs> what the hell are you doing this for, anyway? Wide up is my friend. Kill, I got lots of friends. I don't. He's dying anyway. He wants to go out helping his friend. They tried to take my watch. He cursed them for cowards and they shot him. I don't understand any yeah. of this. I just know it's ugly. You're all ugly. And he was beautiful. You shot him for it. Not that you care. I'm not going with you. Billy! We got to have some law. Billy! Yeah. Billy's out. Ringo and Ben are out front. 30 of them. 30? They're all wearing badges. Doc. Oh my god, he's dying. <gasps> it's Henry Hooker's ranch? That's right. We got a sick man. As long as it's just tonight. We're in debt to you. I hope Henry Hooker's place doesn't get shot up. Well, they meet again. I'm sorry that I... I forgave you the moment you said She likes him. Thank you. I have to go. Not meant to be. Maybe in another life. Oh, gross. Are they dragging a body behind? Ew. They got McMasters. Ringo wanted to make sure he got your attention. He wants a straight up fight, just you and him. Right, you I'll be there! Oh, Stop boy. It. He's pissed, but I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna die or not. After I'm done with Wyatt, finish off Creek Johnson and Texas Jack. Burn them all. I shall. He'll show. Is that the guy from Terminator? Maybe I'm wrong, but I've all movie I've been like, who is this guy? I spent my whole life not knowing what I wanted out of life. Now for the first time, I know exactly what I want and who. 
The lady. That's the damnable misery of it. Yeah, because I don't think they can be together. Makes a man like Ringo Doc makes him do the things he does. A man like Ringo got a great empty hole right to the middle of him. He can never kill enough or inflict enough pain to ever fill it. Yeah. What does he need? Revenge. For what? Being born. I can't beat him, can I? I don't think so. No. Oh, man. Can you run away with the girl? What's it like to wear one of those? Give it to him. Yeah. Just the three of them setting out. He's waiting for you by the big oak. Okay. I ain't got the words. Me neither. Just chilling by the oak. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. <gasps> you look like somebody just walked over your grave. Yeah, he's as surprised as me. Play for blood, remember? I was just fooling about. I wasn't. And this time, it's legal. Mm. All right, longer. Okay. Oh, they're circling. This is tense. I don't know who's gonna die. Well, we know he's gonna die, but now in the gunfight, I don't know. Draw! Say when. Uh. Did you get him in the head? Come on. <gasps> <gasps> Ew, he's still walking around. You're no easy. You're no at all. Poor soul. He was just too high strung. Fight's over, bud. Finished him. Old Doc Holiday. One last good deed. Wasn't quite as sick as I made out. My hypocrisy goes only so far. Let's finish it. The last charge of Wyatt Earp and his immortals. Let's finish it, boys. Ooh, gosh. Oh, man, from around the horse? Ooh. You can't run, fellas. These guys mean business. They even got Doc with them. Surrender. It's futile. Just a handshake on the horse. I like that. Sanatorium. Now he's dying. I don't know why. Father oh, Feeney and I were just investigating the Church of Rome, it appears. Hypocrisy knows no bounds. Brought you something. Hmm. Well, let's see. Two bits of hand, stud. Keep coming back here. I told you not to in a minute. You're the only person I can afford to lose to anymore. They're How buddies. Today, Doc? I'm dying. How are you? Pretty much the same. All right, how many cards you want? I don't want to play anymore. You're the most fallible, stubborn, self-deluded man I've ever known in my entire life. I call. You win. Yeah, with all. You're the only human being who ever gave me hope. BFFs for life. I was... Love once. She joined the convent over the affair. She was all I ever wanted. What did you want? Just to live a normal life. There's no normal life. It's just life. You get on with it. Don't know how. Say goodbye to me. Go grab that spirited actress. Mm. Yeah, that. yeah. Live for me. If you ever my friend, leave now. Thanks for always being there, Doc. This is funny. He's dying. Good night, yes. Josie. Good night. Go to her. Tell her you love her. Life's too short, man. I have nothing left. Nothing to give you. Is it love? I have no pride. She doesn't want no that. No money. I, I don't even know how we'll make a living. Just love. I promise I'll love you the rest of your life. Oh. Yay. I didn't think this would have a happy ending. My family's rich. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> What should we do first? May I have this dance? Yes. <laughs> and then we'll have room service. Mm -hmm. The power of the cowboy gang was broken. Virgil and Allie Earp moved to California where Virgil became a town sheriff. Nice. Wyatt and Josephine embarked on a series of adventures. In 47 years, they never left each other's side. I have goosebumps. Wyatt Earp died among the pallbearers at his funeral where early Western movie stars Tom Mix wept. Wow. Okay, I didn't know it. Is it, is this, a, are these real people? Is this a true story? 
Okay guys, well that was Tombstone and I really liked it. I'm surprised how much I liked it. It was, you know, it's not really a typical movie that I would watch. I've never really seen a lot of Westerns or anything like that, but I really liked it. And the reason I liked it, I think is because, well, a few things. I really liked all the, the main guys, all the, all the dudes, uh, Val Kilmer, Kurt Russell, Bill Paxton, the guy who played Virgil. I really liked all those guys as like a, as like a crew. They were very cool. They're very good actors. And I, I really liked watching them together. They had great chemistry with each other as bros and yeah I was really into it I was really into you know their their team the boys winning it getting their justice I was sad to see Bill Paxton die I was sad to see Val Kilmer die yeah those deaths were bad um there was lots of obviously shooting and people dying and stuff but yeah I mean in the end our main guys the good guys uh, one and that was really cool. I didn't really expect it to have a happy ending So the fact that Virgil kind of had a happy ending and Wyatt and the actress had a happy ending I was really happy about that. It was kind of in the end like a love story Even a love between you know friends Val Kilmer and Kurt Russell as friends They had that friendship bond that love and I, that was just really nice I didn't expect any of that kind of uh, vibe in a Western so very surprising I wonder how typical a Western like Tombstone is or if it's kind of in a genre by itself, you know what I mean? I would be curious to see more Westerns, so if there's other Westerns I should see, let me know below. I would be curious to see more movies too with Val Kilmer and with Kurt Russell. I really like both of those guys, they're very cool. It was very surprising how much I liked it. So I'm gonna give my MVP to Kurt Russell. I thought he did a great job. He's, you know, the main guy, Wyatt Earp. I've heard of Wyatt Earp before, so I was really happy to see finally who that is. I, I didn't even know, I didn't look up anything before I watched the movie. I just knew that Kurt Russell was in it, you know, hearing that he's Wyatt Earp, I was like, oh great, like I get to figure out who that is now. So that was very cool. He did a great job. He was emotional. He's a handsome guy. Yeah, he was awesome. So Kurt Russell as Wyatt Earp, you are the MVP. For Loki MVP, there were a great many of supporting cast that could be the Loki MVP, but for me, I'm gonna give it to Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday. His death was really sad, and I just thought him and Kurt Russell together as you know best friends was very cool. I liked his character a lot too. He was he was different than than the other guys. He's definitely my low-key MVP. The worst award is again tough because there's just like there was a lot of guys in this that were like that seemed pretty terrible that were just like shooting each other for no reason. So this is a tough one to award. So I think I'm just gonna give the worst award in general to any of the guys who were just shooting random unarmed people just kind of for sport. You know in the beginning they sort of shot the bride and groom for no reason at all and then just ate all their food. Like so any of those guys that were part of that whole thing you guys are the worst. So overall, I really liked it and I was surprised how much I liked it. I had a fun time watching it and in the end, it was a love story. So I was happy to see that. And I'm curious, is it, like I've heard the name Wyatt Earp and in the end, they gave that kind of epilogue. So it seems like it's a true story or he's a real guy. So I'm probably gonna look it up, but also let me know down below if this is a true story or based on like the legend of somebody in the olden times. I'm curious to know that. Thank you guys so much for watching along with me today. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.